everyone, hope you're having a great week so far. So we have our precision fermentation ingredient approval in Canada. This is for an Israeli company. Israeli company Remelt said on Monday that it has received a letter of no objection from Health Canada regarding its version of the beta-lactoglobin protein, which can be used as a non-animal source ingredient in products that look and taste like traditional milk, cheese, yogurt, and ice cream. Beta-lactoglobin is one of the proteins that make up whey. Whey protein is a mixture of proteins that are isolated from whey, which is the liquid material that is created as a byproduct of cheese production. So this is the same type of protein that we've seen with companies like Perfect Day when we've taste tested some different milk and ice cream products on this channel so far. The protein is equivalent to its cow-derived counterpart, but no animals are involved in its creation through a process called precision fermentation. Remilk is currently seeking a Canadian partner to help launch and distribute its product. NOS on Health Canada's website confirms the federal agency has no objection to the use of the animal-free milk protein in food and no safety concerns. They first received the submission in 2022 to allow for the sale of the beta-lactoglobin protein. And following the assessment, it's confirmed that this strain does not pose any greater risk to human health than the whey protein from cow's milk that is currently available to the Canadian market. The protein is no different in nutritional value compared to whey protein from cow's milk. It is noted, however, that the protein may produce the same allergic response as milk when it's consumed, so all products containing it must be labeled accordingly. The company Remilk has responded, saying Canada is an important market, and we're proud to be the first to enter with an opportunity to deliver an unparalleled dairy experience for Canadians. They have received a similar no-questions letter from the US FDA and got regulatory approval in Israel last year. So, super exciting news for Canadians, for myself. I've been going all over the place to try and find these products and we'll see when this actually comes to a product on the market. They're currently looking for a Canadian partner, but I would expect within, let's say, the next two years to start seeing these products on shelves. Super exciting. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching.